I can't tell you how many, how many clients I work with that are in their 40s, in their 50s, they're like, Denzel, you know, I only got 10 years left. Like, what do you mean you only got 10 years left? You're only 50, what are you talking about? In 10 years, you'll be 60. What are you trying to tell me? You're gonna be in a wheelchair at age 60? You're, you're gonna be fully paralyzed? And guess what? The, I have clients that are fully paralyzed, disabled, older than the 40 or the 50 year old, and their mindset is, I am not dying tomorrow or anytime soon, so I need to expand, I need to scale, I need to reach more people. Can you believe that? Like imagine talking to somebody, they're in their late 50s and 60s and they have the mindset of 10X, but they're in a wheelchair, fully disabled, head to toe or chest down or, or just uh, waist down, whatever, they have a dis disability, whatever it is. And, and in the midst of all of that, they're still asking the question, what's my purpose in life? Where am I going? Why am I here? Where am I headed? Who can I serve? How can I 10X my income? How can I create not only financial freedom for me, but how can I create financial freedom for my neighbor? How can I create financial freedom for the stranger on the street? How can I create financial freedom for my wife's sister, my the brother's aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, the cousin, the friend, the coworker? It's big think, big think, okay? Does the infinite banking concept work for older adults 60 plus? Sounds like it's only for younger people. I do have my oldest client is in their late 60s. I do believe I have a 70 year old that started a policy. So like 69, 70, they uh, started a policy, male. And then I do have a female that did one as well. So it's not just a young man's game, although it's obviously beneficial if you start when you're younger, of course. The older you get, the more expensive it is, of course. It's only going to make sense if you have the numbers to support that kind of fun, that kind of funding of a policy like this. What I would say uh, to you, Craig, and others that are asking that question, I would type in IBC Global Inc. on YouTube and go to that channel. Steve Parisi is the face, the owner. He makes a lot of videos diving deep into the infinite banking concept. He gives a lot of values. He provides real life case studies and examples. So he does real life case studies and examples of, I think he did a 75 year old case study, a 70, a 65, a 60, 55, 50, 40, like, all the ages, he's, he's done a, quite a bit. So I recommend that. Okay, here's the question again. As a 70 year old, debt free on credit cards, 830 credit score, need to pay off $95,000 mortgage and a $75,000 HELOC. So far I'm putting $500 extra a month, should I look for a HELOC or a PLOC? Said it was too long. Should I look for a, a whole life HELOC or PLOC? Okay. And then maybe the other thing I throw in there is 10X. Okay. Maybe that's another thing I throw in there. Uh, so, now, guys, if I'm not wrong here, uh, did she not say that she owes money on a HELOC already? Right? $95,000 mortgage, okay? She's paying 500 a month extra. She didn't give us our, she didn't give us the four major numbers, so we're just gonna assume she's got $500 cash flow each and every month. 95K mortgage, she didn't give us the interest rate or the payment, so that's fine. 
75k HELOC. I'm assuming 75,000 is what she owes. So maybe she has a first lien mortgage and a second lien HELOC. I'm going to assume that. What we don't know is if the home equity line of credit is a, is, a he, is a home equity line of credit or a home equity loan. So we don't know that. If it's a home equity line of credit, why do I need to go get another HELOC? Why can't I just do velocity banking with that? That's one option. Based on your income, if all you have is $500 a month and you're 70, okay? Here's where things get radical and interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm 70 years old, I have to understand something that 30, 40 years ago, money operated differently than today. Okay? I need to understand that the traditional way of doing things with money does not operate as effectively in today's marketplace, okay? So if I only have $500, the amount of time it's going to take to pay off these debts, I don't know, maybe seven years or less doing velocity banking. Maybe that's your goal. So you'll be 77, you'll be debt free, but you'll be broke. You'll have maybe, I don't know, thousand bucks more in cash flow, maybe two thousand more in cash flow, but no money making machine to keep the engines going as you start to decay in this world and eventually pass away and go visit the king. Okay? So this is where I think mentioning 10x needs to be addressed. I think it needs to be addressed. If I'm 70 years old, what can I really do with 500 bucks? What can I really do with $500 when it comes to paying off debt? I need to take the time to really ask the question, the four major questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? How can I 10x? How can I go from 500 cash flow a month to 5,000 cash flow a month? Is that a possibility within seven years or less? Is that possible? With the current energy that I have, the current state of mind, am I healthy? Am I mobile? You know, and, and look, there's, there's no exceptions. You know, I've got clients that are around this age that are operating and running businesses. I have people who are disabled. I have people who, I know people who are blind on Clubhouse, okay? I've heard people talk on Clubhouse that are totally blind or totally deaf, running and operating six-figure businesses that are in their late 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, okay? There's no exception to the game of money. There's no exception to the game of money. You are racing against yourself. That's all you're doing. You're racing against yourself. So let's develop a strategy where we can discover your purpose in life, deliver value in the marketplace, okay? Me, me personally, look, if, if my mom was 70 years old and she still had debt, I would not be trying to teach her velocity banking, infinite banking, debt snowball. These are baby strategies. As a velocity banking consultant, some people call me an expert, guru, coach. As a leader in the space of velocity banking and infinite banking, I'm telling you, at 70 years old, these, these concepts are, are baby strategies. It's not gonna really, ah, it's not gonna really do it for me. It might cut my debt time, my debt-free timeline from 12.5 years to, to seven or six. That's wonderful. 
I'm not, I'm not negating that. That's wonderful. But it still doesn't answer the, how do I create the lifestyle that I want for my life? So I don't know what situation you're in. I don't know if you're doing well financially, Patricia, or, or if you're not doing well financially because you only have, say, 500 bucks extra in cash flow. Maybe you're putting money here, putting money there, putting money there. I think you need to be putting money in Patricia. I think before you leave planet Earth, I think a, a mass amount of people needs to know who Patricia and how to say your last name. I think people need to know what value you bring to the marketplace, okay? Do we need to be radical and say, okay, can we, can we refinance these, these, uh, this mortgage into one payment and have a lower payment, lower interest rate because interest rates are super low? And I can get the cash flow out and go, you know, create a strategy, create value in the marketplace. Maybe that's a strategy. Can I sell the home? Am I willing to sell the property and go downsize, live somewhere where I can rent cheap and just focus on myself, read books, become a mentor to somebody, build, help build someone else's kingdom so that the Lord can trust you to build your own? Uh-oh. Did you catch that? Can you take the time to mentor someone else, help them build their kingdom so that the Lord can trust you to build your own? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So let's, let's figure that out. Let's really spend some time. All right, we got some people commenting. Age 70 with debt of 170K. Yeah, not fun. Not fun. Okay? But... If I'm 70 and I got 170,000 in debt, but I cash flow five, seven, 10 grand a month, I almost don't care about the debt. You're cash flowing. Cash flow is the only thing that really matters in the 21st century. I just attended a 10X growth conference here in Miami, growth con number five. Every single billionaire on stage were every single billionaire you had there were all different cultures on stage that were billionaires. They all said the same thing. Cash flow over everything. They said cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, and they said scale, expand, think big. So every billionaire, Kevin O'Leary, Damon John, Tommy Hilfiger, A-Rod, Grant Cardone, Glenn Stearns, Glenn Sanford. Who else was there? Alex Rodriguez. There was another dude that was on there. Owns real estate. I think Drew Brees might be a billionaire. Who knows? Uh, but he was there. So many billionaires showed up. I, I think Mike Rowe. I think he's a billionaire. Jesse Itzler, he's a billionaire. Nothing but billionaires. They all said the same thing. Cash flow and scale. They didn't say anything about paying off debt. They didn't say anything about paying off debt. They all said cash flow, scale, think big, expand, serve, lead, help. Because we want to go from owing debt to owning debt. You want to own debt on planet Earth. The more debt you own, the more cash flow you're going to be able to create. You create a huge money-making machine. Okay?